The seniors go on their trip to Florida. We update you on the spring sports teams. And Unified Track is underway. This is MET News. Hello and welcome to MET News. My name is Matt DeRosiers. Let's get right to the lead. A group of 79 seniors went to Florida during April vacation and had a fun-filled week. On the day of the arrival, MHS students arrived at their hotel and soon after made their way to Volcano Bay, and later that night had a blast playing all sorts of games at Dave & Buster's. Magic Kingdom was the amazing stop for Monday where they spent the whole day and stayed into the night to watch the fireworks. They arrived at Universal on Tuesday, and later that night, they saw the legendary Blue Man Group and had so much fun. To finish off the trip on Thursday, the students went to Bush Gardens and Disney Springs, then went to spend their final day at Cocoa Beach, shopping and finishing off the night with laser tag and 4D rides. TV Pro 4 student Aaron Conley took his camera to Florida to document his favorite parts of this unique class trip. Let's take a look. This is you and in fire, and we shall sure all burn together. Watch the flames climb high into the night. Calling our father, oh, stand by the needle. Watch the flames burn over and on the mountainside. Desolation comes upon the sky. Now I see fire inside the mountain. See fire burning the trees, and I see fire hollow and souls. I see fire burning the trees. I hope that you remember me. We just sold out all the floor seats. Take me on a trip, I'd like to go someday. Take me to New York, I'd love to see LA. I really want to come kick it with you. You'll be my American boy. He said, hey sister, it's really, really nice to meet ya. I just met this Viper 7 guy who's just my type. Like the way he's speaking. 
cop, this is peaking. Don't like his baggy jeans, but I'm, I like what's underneath him. And no, I ain't been to MIA. I heard the Cali never rains in New York's wide away. First, let's see the West End. I'll show you to my bedroom. I'm liking this. Everybody gonna say UK Reluctantly, cause most of this press don't f with me Estelle once said, tell me, cool down, down Don't act a fool now, now Always act a fool, ow, ow Ain't nothing new now, now He crazy, I know what you're thinking Rapina, I know what you're drinking Rap singer, chain blinger Holla at the next chick soon as you're blinking What's your persona? About this Americana Rhyme up in my shadow I feel your spirit, but I still talk that cat ass. Cause a lot of wags wanna hear it. And I'm feeling like Mike at his baddest. Like the pips at their gladdest. And I know they love it, so they hear with all that rubbish. Would you be my lover? Would you be mine? Would you be my lover? Would you be mine? Would you be my lover? Would you be my American boy? American boy. Take me. The baseball team returned from April vacation with a 2-2 two two record. Senior pitcher Jake Steiner returned from injury wearing a protective face mask. Although he gave up two runs in his return, the Sachems earned the win versus Coyle Cassidy. On Tuesday, April 23rd, the Sachems played East Bridgewater and lost 2 to nothing. Jake Steiner pitched six shutout innings, but the Sachems were not able to score a run for the senior pitcher. 
The baseball team will be playing Carver High School at Pierce on Monday, April 29th, at Abington High School on May 2nd, and at Somerset Berkeley High School on May 3rd. Best of luck to the Sachems in their upcoming games. Congratulations to Brandon Hogan on signing a national letter of intent to play football for Stonehill College next year. Hogan played multiple positions last season for the Sachems and was a part of the 2017 Football State Championship team. Good luck next fall at Stonehill. After a tough 8-7 loss on Friday, April 12th against Coyle, the Middleborough Varsity softball team now has a record of 3-3. With many league games coming up, the girls intend to push through the last stretch of the season. The game schedule is Monday, April 29th at Carver High School, Tuesday, April 30th at Brockton High School, Thursday, May 2nd, home against Abington High, and Friday, May 3rd at East Bridgewater High School. Best of luck, girls. The boys' tennis team is causing a racket in the South Shore League as they're on a three-win streak after defeating Coyle before April vacation. The tandem of Devin Avila and Dylan Lynch started strong with a 4-0 record at second doubles. They lost a close match 2-3 at Dighton Rehoboth on Tuesday, April 23rd, with first singles player Declan Hastings and third singles player Kyle Johnson earning wins. The team faced Rockland on Thursday before heading to their league rival Norwell on Friday, April 26th and hosts Carver on Monday, April 29th. This spring, if you want a soft serve, try Dairy Queen. Girls Tennis had a tough 2-3 loss versus Dighton Rehoboth on Tuesday, April 23rd. The team had a 2-2 two two record going into their match against Rockland on Thursday. They will face Norwell on Friday, April 26th, East Bridgewater on April 30th, and Abington on May 2nd. Girls Lacrosse has a record of 3-2 so far this season, beating Upper Cape Cod RVT School 14-2 before losing to Rockland 16-9 on Tuesday, April 23rd. Their upcoming games are Friday, April 26th versus Mashpee, Tuesday, April 30th versus Abington, and May 3rd versus Hull. We can't wait to hear all about their success. Good luck, girls. The Poise Lacrosse team was 3-2 going into their game against Rockland on April 24th. They play at home against Mashpee on April 26th, and they play on May 2nd and May 3rd against Old Colony Voke Tech and Hull. On Tuesday, April 23rd, the boys and girls track teams took on Randolph and Cohasset Hull in their second meet of the season. The boys lost both meets but kept it close with Cohasset Hull. The girls lost to Randolph but ended up beating Cohasset Hull. Their next meet is on Monday, April 29th. Good luck, Sachems. Unified Track had their first meet on Wednesday, April 10th at Aponiquit High School. Maggie DeRogers and Eden Eugenio were there to get the inside scoop from the coaches and athletes. Let's see what they had to say. I'm here at Aponiquit High School for the very first Unified Track meet. Athletes of all abilities will be competing in events like javelin, long jump, relays, and many more. I chose to coach Unified Track because when I attended the Unified Basketball um, Fans in the Fans night, it was just so great to see the community support and uh, and it's a, it involves a group of individuals that I hadn't really worked with yet, and I really wanted to. What I do is the 400, the javelin, the 100, and the softball. 100 meter dash, push up a pro. 400 meter dash, and also javelin. Nice! Right. One, faces, jump point, and javelin. Uh, the atmosphere to me is like the best part about the whole thing. Um, we had our support personnel, our athletes, their athletes, everyone was just cheering on everyone. It wasn't even, it didn't feel like much of a competition in a way. Um, everyone was, it was there to help everyone do their best, which was great. I'm looking forward to meeting uh, all the kids from different high schools. See how I'm going to do well. My favorite part is getting to know people I didn't get to know before. Yes. Yeah. All right. Ready? Unified on three. One, two, three. Unified! Based on my calculations, we only lost by a few points. Um, but I, I, our team looked so much better than the other team. Our technique was there. It was so much better. Um, we knew what we were doing. Uh, we were doing it well. Uh, I was really impressed with how our team performed. The Unified Track Team has their next meet Wednesday, May 1st at 3 o'clock. It looks like it's going to be a great season. This has been Maggie DeRogers for MET News. Thank you for joining us for this episode of MET News, and be sure to tune in on Friday, May 3rd for our next episode. I'm Matt DeRogers. Have a great night.